Today's sponsor is SiteGround.com. They provide one-click installers, 24-7 support, excellent security, and free website transfers. Check out the link in the description below. Welcome to WP Cliff Notes. My name is Cliff Kennedy, and here you will get tips, tricks, and hacks about WordPress. If you are a newbie or a veteran, consider subscribing if you would like to know more about WordPress. Hey guys, welcome into part two of a two-part mini-series on the Advanced Custom Fields Flexible Content Field. And in this video, we are going to do the code portion of the tutorial. But first off, I'm going to do a little bit of a review. So in last video, we created the page builder with all the fields, with the flex content field, then created all of the fields in here and we also entered content in all these fields so now what we're gonna do is go straight into the code editor and start coding but first off what I would do is for you guys who are new to advanced custom fields and haven't really read about it I would highly suggest going to their the advanced custom fields website and reading more about it it is the best plugin but we're going to go to documentation because I'm going to show you where to find the code for this we're going to go to file types and then we are going to find the flexible content field which is a pro version by the way so it has a video showing you about what it is and then here right here is the code for what we need so I'll put this link in the description so you guys can grab this code when you are going through this tutorial and I'll also put my code in a link too let's jump right into the code so we're gonna flip over to the code editor and I've already copied some code over here as you can see with layout one this first one is going to be a one row with headline and the content along with the code for the true false statement so we're gonna go standard and this is a little snippet I have and I'm also for my rows and columns and different things like that I'm using the CSS grid framework foundation and I will link to that too in the uh, description and then we're going to create a an XY cell And so here's where we're going to spit out our ACF code. PHP echo get get field. Actually, it's get subfield. Because this is a subfield of the flex content field. So we'll go get subfield and this will be headline. And then next, we are going to do the content. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, paste, and change this to column. And we're going to put an H, an H2 around this. And here's where the fun part gets in because we're going to add a class here. that does an if statement that says if field is true echo a class so this is going to be a subfield called center headline and it's saying if it's true then echo a class so this class is going to be called text center then we're going to flip over to and since we have the one column, when we click here, 
hopefully we won't get in there we go so we have our one and we must have that click where it's centered we got the first one working let's go back and work on column two I always like to keep these clean and easy you can even do it like that if you want to so next we're going to copy all of this go and paste it there and then what we're going to do is we're going to call this we're going to take this out and we're going to do a XY XY container I'm going to tab that over we're going to do a two up grid side by side so I've got little shortcuts for this in my editor so don't need the row and we're going to call this we're not going to use the large and we're not going to use the small so we're just going to call this medium six and same thing here I'm going to copy this and paste it here medium six I like to line all my stuff up there we go here we go column one and then we're going to copy this one paste it here and call it column two and so now we gotta change this to column two got to change this to say else if so now what this is saying is if we don't have a column one and and we, but we have a column two then you output the column two if you help out if you have a column one and a column two then you'll output both of those if you don't have any of them then you output what's down so let's save that and hit refresh and there's column two and we must not have the center headline turned on then we'll go back here and we will copy all of this actually I'm just gonna copy the top part of it and so There, and then we will change this to large four because the large four is 33% width and you can check that out at the foundation documentation change this to three save and when we refresh you should get three columns oh duh we need to change this to three column and then hit refresh there we go again we must not have the center headline next we are going to do the same thing we did the first time copy all of this and then before we do anything else let's go up here and change this to four column and we can copy this paste it here change this to four and then we want to change this to a large three because a large three is 25 percent and so now when we hit refresh we should have what well, four columns perfect so the last layout we are going to do is the featured section featured services i've already pasted the code in here and i'll just walk you through it we need to change this to featured services and then we'll copy this paste it here all right so first off you have your if the, if else with a get row layout of featured services then you have your standard section with a row then you have your your repeater because that's what we're going to be using for the services is a repeater 
and it's called featured services and I will put the URL of the repeater code in this tutorial as well and this right this code right here is outputting an even or odd class on each repeater row so if it's even then it'll output even if it's odd it'll output odd so next we're gonna have them sitting side by side so we put them in a large six and then if you remember in our first tutorial we put the option for a right to turn the right border off or on and so if it's true then it has no right border if it's false then it will output the right border then we have right here we also did the same thing for the bottom border so if the field is true then it will output the no border class if it's false then it will output a border next we are going to output the icon and we're going to be using an SVG for that so we put the field inside of a the subfield icon inside of a variable called icon and then if if the variable is imp is not empty then it finds the URL of the icon and if the extension of the image ends in it finds that and stores it in a ext variable and then next if the extension equals an svg then it echoes the url the url of the svg and then if it doesn't echo a extension of SVG, then it outputs the URL in an image stack. And then we end the if statement for the SVG. And then we do an end if for the icon. And so next, we output a div with an h3 name of the service and then a p tag a paragraph tag that echoes the subfield description that you put in there along with a a link that says read more and then we end we do a end while statement we end it and then we have an end if statement and then we end the section and in the layout and then end, end while the layout and everything's done so we should have a featured section so let's check that out all right guys i figured out what was wrong I didn't have featured services I had feature feature without a D right here so that's why I wasn't getting any content output because if I refresh now as you can see there they are you get your you get your output you get your you get your border right here you have border here so I must not have any of them turned off. Um, so that is all of this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. And I appreciate everything you guys do. Thanks a lot. That's how easy it is to create a custom WordPress page builder with advanced custom fields. I hope today's tutorial has made WordPress fun, simple, and easy for you. Until next time, this is Clifton Kennedy, signing off. Later.